Hi, this is a guide to Ultima Mapper getting that set up for the first time for the UO Outlands server. So, first things first, you're going to want to go to www.ultimamapper.com. Select your version. For me, it's the 64 bit Windows. Now you can go ahead and mash next here. Just pick what hard drive you want to put it on. Doesn't really matter. It's tiny. Create a desktop icon if you really want to. I'm going to. Wait for this to install. Click finish to exit setup. Now, if we go over to our taskbar here, and we type in Ultima Mapper, that'll come up. I'm gonna wanna open that, give it admin access. It pulls up a update screen. If there's updates, you wanna hit download. Once again, choose where you wanna download it. Hit next until it says install. This is the updates that it's installing. And now we're gonna type in Ultima Mapper again and run that. Now there shouldn't be any updates, so it will actually load. And there we go, we are in. If you're not seeing your character tracking here, we are actually not even on the correct map. This is OSI. Shit. So the next link you're going to want to go to is jithub slash Dirk Smallwood slash Outlands Mapper. I'll put that in the description if you don't want to type it. I don't blame you. Next up, we're going to hit download zip. That starts downloading. You know what? You don't even need to extract it. You just can select it and you drag it to where you want it to go. And that will start doing that. We're going to click on file, settings. We're going to set this resource path here to our desktop and to Outlands Mapper Master. Because that contains our Outlands data there. You hit OK. And tells you must be restarted. But once again, we open up Ultima Mapper. And this will pull up the Outlands map. And there we go. So, if you open it up and your character is not moving, you just click Next Character. And it will refresh and update to your current character. Another thing to check is center on character. Alright, so now we are moving on the map. 